Hey guys, it's Melissa. Happy Tuesday. I hope you are all having a fabulous week. Today I am here to talk about something kind of sad. The upgrades, software upgrades for Silhouette Studio after years of being consistently priced around the $30 mark uh, for designer edition have all increased. This is a mandatory increase from Silhouette America um, across the board. So um, we are now seeing designer edition around $50, designer edition plus around 75, and then business edition around 100. So question is, is it still worth it? to get the upgrade. So I'm gonna talk a lot about the features today and common questions that we get as far as uh, those software upgrades because it is now almost double what we were seeing even just, I don't know, five, six weeks ago. So um, you, you, uh, those of you who are still on the free version of Silhouette Studio or who are using like designer and are wondering, is it worth it to jump to business? We're gonna talk about that. So first things first, most common question we get when it comes to the software upgrades is, is it an ongoing or subscription fee? And it's not, it's a one-time fee to get the um, a license key, okay? So the license key can be put on a couple of different computers, but only one Silhouette account, okay? So if I have my computer here, um, my laptop right here, and then I have another um, computer you know, downstairs, um, if I sign on to Silhouette Studio, I can have designer edition or business, whatever it is, on both computers, okay? It's a one-time fee. So once you pay to get that um, that license key, it, it unlocks the features of whatever edition you get, and you don't have to continue to pay. Now, what is the difference between an upgrade and an update, okay? The upgrades are the paid um, upgrades that offer the upgrades are the paid upgrades. The upgrades are the paid um, like license keys that unlock additional features in Silhouette Studio. Okay, those are um, those are not free. They are paid. That's the one time fee. An update is what Silhouette America releases from time to time to fix bugs or um, release new features. Sometimes they are in the free version. Sometimes they are in these upgraded versions. Okay, so. Um, how do you install the upgrade? So you just put your license key in to, you'll get a 16 digit license key and it basically unlocks the feature. So the burning question, is it still worth now that it's almost double? So business edition is the highest upgrade. It unlocks every feature in Silhouette Studio. It's $99 now, okay? So it used to be about 50 or 60, now it's 100 and Silhouette has mandated that that is the price across all retailers, okay? I would say 100% it is still worth it. And not only is it worth it, but I would highly suggest that you get Business Edition uh, because it gives you access to all the features. Now, if Silhouette America update uh, releases an update and it includes new features that are only available in Business Edition or one of the other, those are, those are then added in. So you get those. So you can continue to get um, the highest features. So what are some of the big things? So I'm just going to start with business edition and then kind of work our way back. Um, but business edition allows you, um, to save your design. This is probably the biggest feature. It allows you to save your design as an SVG, a PNG with a white or transparent background, a JPEG, a PDF. Did I say SVG? Um, those are not file types that you can save in any other version. So if you, especially if you are someone who likes to export your designs, if you want the ability to be able to export as SVG, JPEG, PNG, PDF, you have to have business edition, okay? So that's probably the biggest feature. Then of course, there are a bunch of other features. I'm just looking at my computer here. Um, and I did put, I have a whole list here, but, and I did link to this so you can go and see and compare. So um, business edition also, um, gives you the ability to um, cut with multiple machines, to use the tiling tool. So if you have a design that's too big to fit on, you know, one 12 by 12 or whatever, you know, your size machine you're using, you can use the tiling feature. Auto weeding lines are available. And then there's other things like advanced nesting. You can open um, Adobe Illustrator and Corel Draw files. And there's a couple of other um, features. So that's the highest edition, okay? If you get Business Edition, you also get all of the features of Designer Edition Plus 
Designer Edition, and then of course all of the features that are in the free version. So what does Designer Edition Plus, that's the middle of the road um, upgrade get you? That The big one there is that you get um, the ability to import embroidery files, okay? So if you are someone who does a lot of applique or embroidery, you can bring your um, uh, embroidery files in, you can pull out that um, placement stitch and use that as a cut line, then you can cut your fabric that way, and then you can go and embroider around it using your um, embroidery machine, okay? So it's really that's a really cool feature. Um, and then also Flexi Shapes is probably the um, one that, if you don't have an embroidery machine, the, the next one that most people would use. That's the one that gives you those drawing tools in Silhouette Studio that um, th there's like, I don't know, probably 30 of them, 30 extra ones. So the free version gives you circle, square, lines, um, but the flexi shapes, you get hearts, you get um, stars, you get, I mean, there's like 30, a Christmas tree, lightning bolt, and then flowers, and you can, you know, manipulate until the cows come home, as my mom used to say. Um, and then you also have, the, so that's Designer Edition Plus, okay? So Business Edition would get all of those, and Designer Edition would get um, what I just mentioned. And then Designer Edition is the first level upgrade, okay? That's the one that's now about $50, and that includes um, some also really important features. Number one, hands down, number one um, is the ability to import SVG files, okay? So if you're purchasing files from somewhere else, um, most of the time they're gonna give you an SVG. SVGs do not need to be traced, okay? The cut lines come in automatic. These are the, this is the easiest type of file to work with. It will save you the most amount of time. So that's the biggest option. That's the biggest feature um, that you're gonna get with um, Designer Edition. But then there's a whole list of other ones, including improved rulers. Um, you get the ability to have font management with um, fonts that you purchase in the Silhouette store. You have more nesting tools, advanced sketch tools, custom rhinestone designs. You can create custom rhinestone designs advanced knife and eraser tools. So if you are feel limited by the eraser and the knife and you're not getting, you know, the, the, um, the, I don't even know how to, you, you know, you feel a little bit limited with those, the designer edition will unlock advanced features, custom fill patterns. So if you've ever wanted to bring in a pattern that you have, like if you purchase a digital background and you want to bring that into Silhouette Studio, the only way to bring in a custom fill pattern into the uh, fill pattern library uh, a folder is to have designer edition or designer plus or business. So there's a lot, trace by color. Trace by color is a really underused tool, but it's extremely helpful. You have a design that's multiple colors, and instead of tracing and then releasing the compound path and refilling with different colors, you can simply tell it, trace everything that's red and it traces you know, those parts, and then you can group those. And then you trace the same design, you know, and tell it only only trace the blue colors. And so that kind of thing. Warping, font glyphs, um, object warp. There's a whole bunch of different things. And if you look on the link that I shared up to the side, below, wherever you're watching, there it will be in different places. Um, not only do I have the comparison list of all these features, but you can click on each feature and I have blog posts so you can find out more about them. So end of the day, is it still worth getting designer edition, business edition, or designer plus? I still say yes. I still say that it is, it is worth um, the 50 to $99 uh, for those upgrades. Now, another question we get, if I'm on designer edition and I want to upgrade to business edition, do I need to pay for the full, you know, $100 business edition? No, there are what are called bridges or partial upgrades. So it's essentially you would get, um, you would get the version that's called designer to business and that's like a prorated amount. I think it, it's probably like, I don't even know off the top of my head, $50. Let me just check real quick. So the, if you already have designer and you wanna to go to designer plus, $24.99. If you have designer and you wanna to go to business, it's $49.99. So you're literally just paying the same amount even if you go up in steps, okay? So anyway, I know there's been a lot of questions. You do not have to pay man annually, you don't pay monthly, it's a one-time fee. That's why it's definitely, I still say it's definitely worth it. 
Um, all the years that I've been teaching, um, when I would do conferences, I, every time I would make do a class on software, I would ask people in the room, hundreds of people, how many of you in here have designer edition, a business, whatever. How many of you regret buying it? Every hand would go down. No one regrets purchasing these upgrades, okay? Um, now again, my suggestion is to go straight to business edition, but if that's too big of a jump right now or you don't feel like you would use those features, then just get um, then just get one of the lower versions. Probably designer edition might be worth it for you. You can always add the other one, um, the, another upgrade at another time, okay? All right, you guys, um, I, hopefully I've answered some of your questions. How many computers does one license allow you to have? It's three or five off the, I don't know why I'm blanking right now. Let me, let me just see real quick if I have this written in this blog post. Um, you can put it on, I believe it's up to, uh, I don't know why I'm blanking on this. When I purchase, how's it delivered? What happens, do I need to buy for each computer? No, you can put it on um, new computer. Oh, oh yeah, that's the other thing. If you are having a computer and then your computer crashes or whatever and you need to put it on a new computer, you can do that. You just get your license key, it'll be in your Silhouette America account. You can, I don't know why off the top of my head, I cannot see. I'm looking at my own blog post and it doesn't even look like I have. It's either three or five, it'll tell you um, in there, okay? All right, you guys. Also, don't be don't be fooled to think that the business edition is only for people who run businesses. It's not. It comes in very handy whether you are um, running a business or or you know you're just a hobby crafter. And in fact, in fact, a lot of Cricut users are using Silhouette Studio, specifically business edition, because of the ability to export. So if you're using other software versions, designer edition excuse me, business edition is hands down a no brainer because of the ability to export. If you don't have business edition, you can only export as a studio file, which can only be open in Silhouette Studio. Um, so if you wanna be able to up, uh, you know, open files or save files out of studio as a PDF, PNG, JPEG, or SVG, you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need business, okay? And again, still definitely worth it. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you soon.